What's up guys, Rogue9 here. I've been talking about the mobility stat in Rainbow Six Siege a lot recently and one of the suggestions I've made is to replace the stat with reload time instead and that led me to thinking, what are the reload times for all of the various guns and is there maybe some useful information to be learned by recording them manually? Well, good news everyone, I have done just that so let's take a look at the results, at least for the magazine and belt fed weapons. The shotguns that are reloaded one shell at a time are a little more complex so I will cover those in a separate video in future. As has become tradition, I have added this info to my online weapon damage sheet and you can find a link to it in the description below should you wish to go over the raw data in detail. In this video, I won't be discussing the results gun by gun, instead I will give you a brief rundown of the two types of reloads, the average results by gun class and I will highlight a few standout results. But before I jump into all of this, I would like to say a quick thank you to Moot for sponsoring this video. Moot is a brand new video game focused community platform available on PC, iOS and Android where gaming fans can come together to share and discuss the latest info, highlights, funny moments and memes around their favourite games. Currently on the platform there are dedicated lounges for some of the most popular games around including Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch, PUBG and more with plenty more on the way. Moot uses a voting system that allows you to up or downvote posts and comments so that only the most interesting and entertaining posts rise to the top and you get to level up your account by sharing, commenting and discussing posts about the games you love. So get involved in the conversation by clicking one of the links in the description below. Now, about those reload times. First off, as many of you might already know, there are two types of reload for each gun in the game. We have the tactical reload, when you still have some bullets remaining, and the full reload, when the gun is completely empty. For almost all guns in the game, the tactical reload is a little faster, since you only need to switch the magazine, but there are a couple of exceptions. The GIGN revolver and the belt fed LMGs do not get a tactical reload advantage and Sophia's LMGE, probably the weakest machine gun already, even gets a penalty of just over half a second for using the tactical reload. Yes, it's actually slower. But apart from these exceptions, you are usually better off reloading your gun without fully emptying it. Now let's compare the average reload times by weapon class and unsurprisingly, the machine guns not only have the longest reload times but also have the greatest variation amongst themselves shown by the little black bar in the chart which is a measure of the group's standard deviation from the mean but that's just for you stat nerds out there. All you really need to know is that the longer the black bar, the more different the individual values within that group. For example, if we look at the tactical reload of the LMGs, we have an average of 5.6 seconds but within that group we have Ying's T95 LSW on the one hand with a tactical reload of only 2 seconds and on the other hand is Fuse's 6P41 with 8.5 seconds. And if we now look at all of the other weapon classes, you will notice that they actually have very similar average reload times and the times within each group are clustered very close to those averages. Of course, the sidearms, pistols and machine pistols, reload a bit quicker than the primary weapons and out of the primary weapons, the SMGs and mag-fed shotguns are a little bit faster than the rest but overall, the reload from empty for primaries tends to be just over 3 seconds while the tactical reload tends to be around the 2.5 second mark. So the takeaway here is that reload times in general are so similar that it won't really make much of a difference to you except that the LMGs are super slow and if you're ever in an emergency situation where both your primary and secondary are empty, it's slightly quicker to reload your sidearm. But despite the general similarity in reload times, there are a few standout weapons that I would like to highlight to you. Amongst the pistols, the JTF-2's Mark I, the Spetsnaz's PMM and the FBI's M45 have the shortest full reload time of 1.9 seconds, while at the other end of the spectrum, Cavera's Luzon and Capitao's PRB-92 have a full reload time of 2.6 seconds and of course the GIGN's LFP-586 revolver reloads in 4 seconds flat. 
Amongst the assault rifles, Jackal's C7E is the quickest to reload from empty at 2.7 seconds, followed by Buck's C8 SFW at 2.9 seconds, and while most of the other rifles will reload in 3.3 seconds, Thermite's 556XI stands out as having the slowest reload from empty with 3.7 seconds. The DMRs have virtually identical full reload times, but in terms of tactical reload, Twitch's 417 and Buck's Cammers are the quickest at 2.6 seconds, then we have Blackbeard's SR25 at 2.9 seconds, and last of all, Dokkabee's Mark 14 at 3.1 seconds. As mentioned earlier, the belt-fed machine guns have the same reload times for full versus tactical reload except the LMG-E, but the two magazine-fed LMGs still get the tactical reload advantage and Ying's T95 stands out as the fastest by far, with reload times of 3 seconds and 2 seconds respectively. I covered all of the machine pistols in a recent video, so just as a reminder they are all pretty similar, but the SMG-12 is definitely the slowest, at least in terms of the full reload. Almost all SMGs reload from empty in 2.8, 2.9 or 3 seconds, with the exception of Frost's 9mm C1, 2.64 seconds, Valkyrie's MPX and the Spetsnaz 9x19 VSN, 3.1 seconds, and the only attacker SMG in the game so far, Jackal's PDW9 at 3.4 seconds. And last but not least, we have the mag-fed shotguns, and here the Hong Kong operators 612 and 612 SD shotguns stand out with the fastest reload times from empty, but due to their revolver-style designs they do not get any benefit from a tactical reload, and that puts them almost right up there with the slowest reloading shotgun overall, the Spetsnaz SAS G12. Before wrapping up the video, let me just highlight a few guns to you that stand out because their tactical reload offers either an above average or below average advantage. At the very top of the list of guns that gain the most from a tactical reload compared to emptying the gun, we have Ying's T95 LSW and the Korean SMG-12, both with a 33.3% reduction in reload time. In fact, the machine pistols in general are best reloaded with at least one bullet left in the chamber because they all gain a considerable advantage. For the rifles, it's the ones with some of the worst full reload times that gain the most from going for a tactical reload, i.e. Thermite's 556XI and Jaeger's 416C. But interestingly, Jackal's C7E not only has the shortest full reload time of all rifles, but also boasts an amazing tactical reload of only 2 seconds. I've already mentioned all of the guns that don't get any advantage at all from the tactical reload, so I won't repeat that info, but here's a few guns that stand out because the tactical reload benefit is absolutely tiny. The Spetsnaz GSH-18 pistol only allows you to save around 170 milliseconds on a tactical reload, closely followed by Dokkabee's semi-auto rifle the Mark 14 EBR and Vigil's K1A SMG carbine rifle thing? And after that we have a bunch more pistols. One last thing to mention before I sign off is that the reload times are measured for the BOSG.12.2 shotgun are according to when the hipfire crosshairs disappear and appear, which for most other guns represents a pretty precise analogue of the time it takes to reload them, but since the boss gun is reloaded one shell at a time, you can still interrupt the reload process for a humanly impossible snapshot that would in real life probably cost you a thumb and maybe a couple of fingers. This is a bit of an oddity in the game as of now, but it is definitely on the developer's radar, although maybe not at the highest priority, and I assume that nevertheless it will be fixed at some point in the future. And that's essentially it. As mentioned at the top of the video, there is a link in the description to my online gun stat spreadsheet, where you will be able to peruse each gun's reload times to your heart's content. Overall, I would say that the various reload times are far more similar than I would have expected, but I can definitely see how that makes sense for a more player-friendly gaming experience. Imagine trying out a new gun and being completely blindsided by a stupidly slow reload. And with so many different operators and different guns in the game, having a load of completely different reload times could add confusion to an already complex game. So yeah, keeping the reload times pretty similar, good choice in my opinion. 
One last reminder of my Year 3 Season Pass giveaway, which is closing in less than a week now. A link is in the description below if you want to take part and due to some very generous last minute support, I am actually able to offer a total of 8 passes for the platform of your choice. Nice! And that finally wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.